All right. So wanted to um, do a little work with uh, rotoscoping in Photopea. Um, but first, what is um, what is rotoscoping? Okay, so it's basically painting over movie footage or film uh, tracing, uh, or just paint. You're just painting on top of, of film. So you can see in this Kanye video, um, probably footage from uh, real video, and then just painted on top. Uh, let's see this example, um, Edward Moe Bridge um, photographs that were then traced and put into and made into a cartoon. Uh, here's a movie, the scanner, darkly. Um, this is all from film footage and then paint on top of, of the film. Um, made like a, like a 3D type animation, but with basically just painting on top of, of uh, footage. All right, and this example too I found on uh, YouTube, you can see all the different versions of it, outlines painted over, um, removed from the green screen. Okay, and here's like kind of a, like you could see what maybe a process of, of that type of painting could look like. So painting on top and then removing the film, and then you have uh, painting. All right, and here's some uh, some outline sketchy type images like that. Okay, so okay, so let's get started. How can you do this in Photopea? Photopea. I don't know. Uh, somebody, please tell me how to say this name. Um, Anyway, you can, um, you, uh, what I wanted to do is first um, first talk about, a little bit about Edward Morybridge. He's, um, he's an old photographer from, uh, from way back, you could say 1830, he was born. Um, And uh, so he's kind of like the, uh, the the godfather of animation and film and video. Um, did a lot of film of, of still image s studies of animals and people in motion. Okay. So you could see that um, in these examples here. Uh, let me get a better. Okay. So here's the what the film studies look like contact sheets. So hundreds and hundreds of studies. And so what we could do first, uh, we could we could put these and make these into animations, but there's a lots of examples of these um, put into GIFs already. So I thought you could download one of these and use it to trace. I already have one downloaded. So I'm just going to drag it into, into Photopea. And so uh, we have all of the, the layers here already done uh, but so we can trace these. So to get started with this, you can just add, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. You can add a layer on, you want that to go outside of this folder. Okay. So on this first layer, I'm going to do underscore A underscore and the first frame is going to make it frame uh, zero all right. and then this all this um, this whole folder we can decrease the opacity just so you, you know that you're tracing these so the first thing we're going to do is trace this first layer uh, using a brush I'm going to grab just a sketchy type tool you could use any type of uh, brush you want you want it to be hard edge or soft edge um, you know, grab grab a tool that you feel like would look good. Um, you can use any color, of course. I'm just going to use black for the for this. So you can see that the the sketch looks a little. It's the drawing tool is not working so well. So I'm going to change the image size to 
to something bigger than this. How about let's do uh, like 600 and then link this to 600. There it is. Okay. And now let's see a much bigger image. And probably the brush tool is going to look a lot better. Right. So there it goes. Looks more like like pencil. I'm going to shrink that down a little bit. Okay. And I'm just going to, to trace around this. So little by little, go around. Don't worry about little details. Get a nice trace. So with this brush, it kind of changes different ang as you go in different angles. You can pick up the brush. I'm just trying to, to get through this fast so I can show you the process. Of course, um, you could always go back in a race so for that spot right there. I could have, you know, erase that and, and then redraw. Um, and you could you could draw, you know, all sorts of sketchy stuff, uh, little details. All right, so that would be the frame one, or frame zero. So now I'm going to go to the next frame, show that, and on, and I'm going to hide this uh, frame zero, make another frame. Remember to type underscore a underscore a underscore, and that's going to be frame one. So it's frame zero, frame one, frame zero, frame one, and just keep tracing. Okay, so I'm not going to make this whole video about, you know, watching me draw um, less exciting than than my actual uh, going through this process would not be the most exciting video to watch me do this whole entire thing for 30 minutes. So you can continue to do that. I'm going to bring in a finished version of, of this, of all of the, the layers. You can see here A, uh, under, underscore A, underscore zero. Remember, keep all those underscore A. And then, so now that I, I can see frame 10s here and frame 10 there. So I have them all traced. So now you could just delete all the, that folder. And we want a background. So we could just go with color fill. If you just want to go basic, white, make sure that's underneath everything. And... Save, export, GIF, and you, of course you could adjust the speed. Save that. Now I have a GIF. Of course, if I wanted it to be faster or slower, the slower version here, I could go back and save it again. File, export, GIF. And you could adjust the speed a little slower. All right, so that's it. That's uh, rotoscoping. You can do any type of painting you want on those frames. Uh, you can make a nice clean outline. You can have any colors that you like. All right, so good luck with that.